what LLMs are you all looking towards next, respectively, to help solve for your clients or for your own work? No, I'll just add in here is like, um, you know, when we are talking about the whole control aspect of it and safety aspect of it, especially it's, it's, uh, it's more applicable to large enterprises. I see all those enterprises and many of them are already going in direction is having very opinionated architecture. And this is for the agility purpose. And as we spoke about, it's like things are changing much faster than, you know, than any of the previous technologies. So everyone imagine in an organization is doing their own thing. And if regulations are changing, new governance is changing, or just you know the underlying model is changing, it will be very hard to make changes or keep up with them in that case. So it's, it's very important that there is a framework kind of thinking. There is a centralized model where you know the whole organization can move together in, at much faster pace. Data. Simple databases are going to change. I think one of the things which hit me uh, as a surprise and started me thinking is I read an article recently uh, that LinkedIn had to change some of their um, ways they're using language models and GPUs because they were actually using uh, that type of structure to match people with jobs. And start to think about that, you mean they're not using a database, and it's sort of not anymore, and it's morphing. The concepts of what we're calling a database is morphing in the vector databases and beyond that. And it has to change the way that the GPUs work internally to make this efficient. And before you know it, the whole concept that we have of a database could completely morph into something else.